Hey guys, it's Christy, aka That Spanish Teacher. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please click subscribe, like, comment, etc. Um, or just go follow me on Instagram because that's where I post the majority of my stuff. Or on TikTok if you like the funny stuff. Um, but basically, I did a video on how to paper your door and everyone was like, I need a full tutorial. I would like a YouTube video about it. I would like a very detailed explanation of how I cut out the doorknob and the window. So. I am here for you guys, so I'm gonna do that because, you know, I'm all about working smarter, not harder in the classroom because you guys work hard enough. So um, we're gonna jump into it. And I love you guys so much that I am papering the other side of my door. This is wow. my inside of my door. My outside of my door is already papered because I'm working on a different design, which I will also show you guys when it is done. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see the beautiful finished product that I'm very excited about. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my door. <laughs> So step number one is you definitely need a couple of things. The first of which is you need a roll of paper that is wider than your actual door, okay? Um, I, some papers are just better than others. This cuts super easily and that makes a big difference. It's a little bit of a thicker paper. I really like working with black. One of the main reasons is it just makes the colors pop and look really good. The other thing is, is that if you don't wanna cut out your letters with like the details, you can just use a Sharpie and color in the holes. So that's a really fun hack. The other thing that you're gonna need for this situation is obviously you're gonna need a good pair of scissors. And then I have these two smart razor blades. I don't know why I said smart, they're not smart, but it's smart to have them. <laughs> so um, this one I actually got from my custodian, so you might be able to steal one from them. It's a flat scraper. It's meant for scraping stuff off the floor, but it can be really handy. And this is just a regular X-Acto knife. Obviously be very careful with these and make sure that your school is okay with you having them and using them for this purpose. Most important thing is painter's tape. Painter's tape is my best friend. Um, it is the best thing ever. And this is what I'm going to be starting with. So I'm going to do the first step, which is that I'm going to take the top of the door. I'm going to put the roll, hang it over the door from the top, and I'm going to tape the top of the roll right onto the door. You don't have to be fancy with it. It doesn't have to be exciting because no one's going to see that. Okay, so I'm going to speed this part up because it's not very exciting to watch. All right, so our first step is done. Um, also, don't do what I did. Um, tape the top of the door first, do some little rolled pieces. Um, that's why the painter tape is so great is because you don't have to waste time with cutting things. You can literally just rip it and then go. It's great and it sticks to everything. Um, so do the little pieces on the top and then you're gonna hang it over, let it stick. And then now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the bottom. Um, make sure that you pull it out a good distance and you give yourself some extra room. It is always better to have extra because you can always cut extra off rather than not having enough. Next, we're gonna go around and take little pieces of our painter tape and we are going to flatten the paper against the door and stick a piece of tape underneath to let it stick. That way we know we're gonna have a nice smooth surface the whole way down and we're not gonna have any spaces that are awkward. We're gonna stop right above the door handle because obviously we know that's the trickiest part. Um, and when we get there, I will stop and give you a nice close up of how I do that. All right, so now I'm gonna quickly go ahead and I'm gonna cut off the excess on the side of the door and the bottom of the door just so I can just about close the door because it's kind of hard to work on the door handle when it can be swinging back and forth, okay? So let's go. All right, y'all, we have reached the dreaded doorknob. So as you can see, this looks terrible right now because unfortunately I did drop at the paper at the beginning so these wrinkles are here. So don't do that and this part will still look really good. Also, I did not do anything crazy on the side. Um, my cut is not really great. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be enough that you can kind of get a good grip on the door. So as you can see, I press down the door and I press the paper till I can see it's about where it would naturally go into the door. Um, I don't wanna go all the way like this, just because it's gonna to be too low. When you can see it like about here, 
that's if you have it stuck to the door that's about usually where is a good spot where it kind of hangs naturally okay so as you can see there's already kind of like a little bit of a crease being created in the door just about where i need to cut so i'm going to go ahead and take my exacto knife i'm going to stick my exacto knife right where the doorknob is and i'm going to cut okay and I'm going to cut around the handle, which is like about right here. Hold the piece of paper right here with your thumb like I am. And just kind of saw with it. And be really gentle. Remember, slow is the way to go because you don't want to mess it up. All right, and then I'm going to come a little bit further out and a little bit further out. Just enough so that I can take this and slip it. Now I'm seeing that it's still not enough room. Gonna saw a little bit more and there we go. Okay, so I can slip it right over the door handle like that. And now if you want, you can keep this piece on here instead of cutting it off and you can kind of tape it back in. So, and you could tape this right here. So that way there's not a big spot, but for me, I don't really super care about that. I'm gonna cut off like right here and again I'm leaving myself extra room to play with and there we go the dreaded doorknob is fine um just a couple of things to know about the doorknob you really want to make sure that you do your best taping right around the handle because you need to make sure this stays flat to the door so it doesn't get caught but otherwise we can turn this doorknob and we're good to go and later on we can use our exacto knife and we can clean this up a little bit if we want. We can even use our exacto knife to cut around the circle. All right, so now that we have done the dreaded doorknob, we're gonna go and do the rest of the cutting on the side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the door. You wanna make sure that you use your hands, especially down at the bottom, to push the paper where you kind of want it to be, especially like through the crevice of the door. And then I also like to run my hand, my nail against the crease here in the door and you can see the paper kind of creases where it needs to be, so it kind of falls naturally and it doesn't cause any issues. We're gonna start on this side first, and we're going to take the razor blade, you're gonna stick it right into the crease, and you're going to pull down. Make sure that A, obviously, watch your fingers, no one wants to have any uh, trips to the emergency room on school day, but you wanna use your hand to press the paper to the door and make sure that it's not ripping. If the paper is not giving, pause and see if you can do something different and try a different little way about going about it. Sometimes if the paper is not giving the right way, I will go instead of top to bottom, I will start from the bottom and then cut to the top because sometimes it just works better that way. I did mess up a tiny bit in the crease, but that's okay because we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you how to fix that as well. And the stuff that's on the side, you're gonna go through and we're gonna keep taping. And now we're gonna tape all the way to the bottom of the door, just like we did at the beginning. So that way we can have a nice flat surface to work with to be able to cut off the excess and then cut out the window. My school requires that we cut out the window. If yours does not, don't bother. It's a pain, <laughs> but we are not allowed to paper over or cover our windows. So I will be showing how to do the window as well. retract the blade and put it back in and what you can do is you can just take the edge without the blade and you can find where the edge of the window is and you can kind of just run your flat edge against it so it kind of makes the crease. Now I'm going to take that blade back out. I'm going to go ahead 
and I usually always start up here in the top and I don't start exactly at the top. I puncture a little bit lower than where it is so that way I have a little bit of give in case I screw it up. So I'm gonna go a little bit below. This is where the top is. I'm gonna go in right, so this is the top and I'm going in right here. And I'm gonna slowly go over to the side and then I'm gonna stick the blade in. I'm gonna make a nice clean cut all the way down. And that, my friends, is why the exacto knife is a teacher's best friend. All right, and then I'm gonna cut backwards and just kind of saw back and forth to the top until I feel like hit the edge. And then I'm actually, instead of turning there, I'm gonna start on the other side because I have like this little bubble and it's easier to puncture than if I started to try to puncture here, it's more likely I would tear. Um, so when you have a less give, that's a better way to go. So I'm gonna puncture up here and I'm gonna kind of my way over to the other cut beautiful. I have this whole section cut out and then I'm going to push against the door and I'm going to make my cut here. This can be a little bit harder. What you can do is you can pull the paper out a little bit and give yourself a little bit of a starting spot by pull. I just cut it. There we go. And pull. Stand here, but I can tape that and literally no one's gonna see it. And then I have this all the way down here, and then I'm just gonna take it flat and I'm going to again crease on the bottom by sticking my fingernail in there where it belongs, and I'm gonna pull it down underneath the doorknob and I'm gonna cut across. Et voila! Ooh la la! And then now I'm gonna go in again with the painter's tape. And I'm going to put some tape inside the door around these parts. Definitely right here. I might even, you know what? Why not? Let's go crazy. Let's do around the little doorknob. Pretty good. All right, let's use our tape and do these last little taping parts. thing we're going to deal with is mistakes. So as you can see, I made a couple of mistakes here um, because I'm not used to doing this side of the door. I'm making excuses for myself, but you can see there's some little gaps here. There's even one down at the bottom. That's not great, but it's not big enough that I want to redo the whole door because that's a pain in the butt. So we have a very easy fix. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Bulletin board borders. Why would you not use them for your door too? They're super cute. Sometimes I do them just because they give a little bit of extra pizzazz, but no different than a bulletin board. If you make boo-boos on the side, you can easily cover it up with a border. If you want to reuse them, something that I've done before is I will take the time now, mind you, this is very time consuming and I'm insane, so it's fine for me, but it may not be fine for you. Um, but these ones I have um, magnets on because I use them for borders on my whiteboard sometimes. But for other ones that I know I'm going to reuse for door decor, what I will do sometimes is I will take a clear piece of um, packing tape and I will put it on the side here. And then when I double stick it with a piece of painter's tape or something, or even hot glue or whatever, it will not ruin the border. Um, because I have done it before where I've you know taped the border directly to the paper. And I don't care if the paper gets disturbed, but when I pull this off, I can't reuse these because sometimes it rips too far through the other side of the paper. And it can just add an extra little oomph to your door and make it really cute and cover up any of your boo-boos. All right, so that is it for the door decor. The last little imparting wisdom that I will give to you guys before I end this video is only do this if it brings you joy. This is something that really brings me joy and I don't mind dedicating my free time to. Also, I don't have kids. So um, you need to do what's right for you and your life. If you are the only one in your hallway who doesn't have their door decorated, 
so be it. If you are the only person in your whole school who does have their door decorated, so be it. That's me. I teach in high school. The other teachers don't decorate their doors. Sometimes I get, oh my God, that's amazing. And sometimes I get, oh my God, you're making us look bad. But you know what? This makes me really happy. I love decorating my classroom. I am here more than anyone else, even my students. So I need to love this space and this kind of stuff makes me love it. It makes me really proud when I finish it. So do whatever makes you happy. If you have any questions, if you have any other tips or things that you think I can improve on or that you were like, oh, that's a great hack, but I have this hack, please let me know. I'm really happy to take on other ideas and to try them out. I'm always looking to grow and learn with you guys. If you really like this video or you feel like you have a friend who could benefit from that, please send it to them um, or just follow me on Instagram for more videos and tutorials and other things like this or just general classroom fun. And again, I am Christy, AKA That Spanish Teacher, helping you work smarter, not harder in the classroom because you work hard enough. Bye. So we went ahead now that we've done with the door nail. I was not meant to be a YouTuber. Honestly, why am I itching my eye on camera, Christy?